Hey there guys, this is Dan Strong with Excel VBS Fun. We're back at it with another exciting lesson. We had a question. Uh, uh, somebody asked me, hey, I want to be able to select multiple things like, you know, you can control click, let's say you wanted to control click anything that said hello, and then you'd have a selection that was actually A1, comma, A3, and, and B3, and B4 but that's all you got selected. So this person wanted to say, hey, whatever's in C1, I'm going to go ahead and make this like uh, blue or something. Whatever's in cell C1, I want it to automatically, when I run this macro, go through and check anything that has the same thing that's in C1. So uh, let's take this true off of there. So this would be this, this, and this would be selected because Rita is in there. So that's what you want to do. Let's go ahead and go through and figure out how to do that. So Alt F11 to go into the Visual Basic Editor here. And what we've, we're going to do is we're going to just create our first sub. We'll just say test1. And let's give some space here. Now, just so we can see everything going on, what we want to do is we want to start off by... We're going to create kind of a, a loop that's going to go through all the selected cells. You can either go through the selection or you can just go through for each cell in A1 through B6. So we're going to say for each cell, and this is a variable cell, so you could say for each blah, or for each taco, and let's just do that for fun. For each taco in range, range is your cells, for each um, taco or cell in range, it's really each object, but you just take a, take a friendly name and give it to it, in range A1, colon, A1 through B6 end quote in parentheses so for each taco in range a1 through b6 and of course you say next and whatever your variable is so in this case next taco up tab up tab so we can be indented make it look pretty anything in our for next loop here so for the first instance of a cell which is going to be the variable taco we're going to say if if taco if our current cell equals whatever's in range and that was C1 I believe so if, if whatever our current cell that we're looping through is equal to whatever's in C1 then enter and let's go ahead and put our end if and hit up tab up tab so now we've got our layers here so if this equals that the current cell equals Rita because that's in C1 then we're going to actually Actually, we kind of need to, to do it um, two ways. You'll see what I mean in just a second, but we don't want a comma um, separating the ranges um, in both areas. Just watch, and I'll explain in just a second. So actually, we're going to say if we're going to create a variable called my range, my RNG. If my range equals empty, so the very first time if if my new variable is empty meaning there's no cells in it then we don't want a comma so my and taco is you know the variable equals c1 then my range equals uh, taco the current cell dot address and I'm gonna put 0 comma 0 in parentheses now the dot address will just instead if you had a 1 there and a 1 there then it would be a dollar sign a dollar sign 1 for cell a1 um, but I put 0 so it doesn't have to have the dollar signs it kinda of doesn't matter but that's just what I usually do because it's what I usually type when I'm addressing an actual cell reference so the first thing is my range is going to be equal to uh, that uh, no this on a2 so it would say a2 and that's all it'd say now the next time we want to start adding commas yeah okay yeah that's right so we're gonna control or shift tab and we're gonna say else if taco equals range c1 and the reason we're doing two of these is because the first time Oops. Then the first time uh, we don't want a comma, and I'll show you that. So I'm going to show you this. The next time, after you got your first one, after my range equals a1, or in this case a2, right here. Then we're going to start adding a comma each time. 
So if there's ever another instance of Rita or whatever, then my range is going to equal my range. It's going to equal itself. So it starts off being A2. And then the next time, it's of course not empty, so it goes here. And it starts adding a comma after each one at that point. So then when uh, your current cell equals Rita, in this case, then A, the my range, which it says maybe A2, equals A2 and the new cell or oops a2 and quote comma quote and the new cell reference so it'd be a2 comma uh, b2 so let's roll through this really quick and I'll show you how that works so f8 so for each taco in range a1 through b6 so taco is the first cell it's hello and uh, is is it empty? Yes, but also it says and and hello equals no. Hello is not equal Rita. So next one, no taco is not no. Okay, the next one, Rita equals Rita. Boom. So and my range is empty. So we go to the first instance. Then we fill it with the cell A2 right there, and then we move on. So F8, F8. So now um, taco equals Rita, but my range is not empty. So it goes to the else if. Now if taco equals is Rita equals Rita, so yes. So now it's A2 equals A2 and comma and whatever that is. So now if you hover over it, it says A2 comma B2. So we're building up a comma separated a bunch of ranges, and then we're just gonna take my range dot select at the end. Or well, I'll show you. So let's go through this and we'll just put a stop marker right here. I'm gonna hit F5. And we'll see what it ended up with. A2, comma, B2, comma, A5 in a string of text. So now let's just take the range that is called my RNG dot select. And that should do it. Because you're taking a range and instead of putting in quotes manually A2, comma, B2, comma, A5, end quote, you're just taking the variable that has all that string of text in it and selecting all that. So we take that range and dot select and hit F8 and look this one and this one and this one are now selected. So that's how to do that. Um, we'll just show you a couple speed versions of that. Um, let's just change this to hello. That's the easy way to do it. Alt F8 you can choose any macros. I only have one so double click right here and look hello 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 and hello are now selected. One more, let's do hi there, exclamation point. Now you'll note that uh, VBA is usually pretty case sensitive. So if I double click here, it selects that cell. But if I just typed hi there with a lowercase, uh, it would probably not select. Yeah, it says four, it says there's an error there. So uh, what we need to do is it frowned upon this variable being empty and me trying to select a range that doesn't this is empty, there's no range. So what we need to do, if my RNG equals empty at the very end, then exit the sub. Just go ahead and close it up, close up shop, okay? So now we'll run that one more time, Alt F8, and it just did nothing, okay? And then finally we'll assign a button to it because we're super cool like that. Create a button, right click, assign macro, the only macro we have is test one. And so we're going to click here and we're going to say, click me. I zoomed in a bunch, so this is actually pretty small. Okay, and then we go to format and we make it this color and then we center center and control A to select all and we go up a little bit like that and boom, we got a pretty button. So let's take it one more time. Let's say Rita. And we click the button, and now they're all three selected. We type in hello, click the button, all three or four of those are selected. So that's how that works. Thanks for watching, and God bless.